right, welcome back to Jeff Kernange live here in the studio with Nyeri, member of not Nyeri, Nyali, guy, what's up, Ruto Wawatu? Nyali, member of Parliament, Mohammed Ali, and then Makasi East, member of Parliament, Bob Wawin. And by the way, if you want to know what's happening with the World Cup game, Spain and Iran, Spain just scored minutes ago. It's now one 0 Spain, second half. Okay, gentlemen, I'm gonna get to lifestyle audits in a moment. But I'm, 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 I'm a little confused about you and Joho because, I mean, you're, you're the MP in literally where his home is. Any chance of a, hand, a handshake, like the famous handshake? Any hand chance of a handshake? Well, Jeff, I've been shaking hands ever since I was born. <laughs> the handshake uh, theories are just a new thing that came into the world of <laughs> politics recently. We've been shaking hands for many, many years. It's a, it has been our African culture to do so. Uh, and... Uh, I don't have a problem with him. I won the election free and fair. He won his free and fair. And I, I, I think uh, people might think that I am the one who is against him, but I'm not against him. Mm. I'm free for a handshake any time, as long as we agree that we are going to serve the people. So I don't have a problem with handshake. Yeah. If he feels that he doesn't want to shake hands with Muhammad Ali, then I, I can't force so him. So if he reaches out, you're okay with that? We are, I'm ready any time that we can yeah. talk and for yeah. the betterment of the people of Nyali and Coast in, 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 in general. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have beef against him. Whatever happened during nominations, whatever that I went through, uh, the court battles that have been sponsored. Now I'm in court of appeal, by the way. Mm. It hasn't ended yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to court of appeal in Malindi. <coughs> All these things. But I don't have a problem with him because, uh, uh, I mean, our ideologies are different. Uh, the elections are over. It's time to serve the people. But if he still feels that, uh, you know, being a young person against all odds, with an independent, uh, uh, being an independent candidate, I won the election. Uh, and he still feels like his choice was destroyed by the people of Nyali. That is his own personal issue. Sure, sure. So if he wants to work, we will work yeah. for the sake of this country, yeah. for the sake of the people. Babu, are you yeah. friends with uh, 001, with Sultan? Yeah, we are very close friends with Sultan, and I would uh, actually encourage Moa and the Governor Joe to shake hands because we've seen serious people who are fighting. We've seen De Clark and Mandela shaking hands. Uh, President Uru Kenyatta and His Excellency Raila Molo Dinga shaking hands. The other day we saw President Trump and Kim Jong-un of uh, North Korea shaking hands. We saw Kim Jong-un of North Korea and uh, Moon Jae-in of South Korea shaking hands. We saw Babu Oweno and President Uru Kenyatta shaking hands. Therefore, I believe that my brother Moa and Governor Joe will shake hands soon. Yeah. It's about service to the people. Let's not make it personal. And I know these two guys are friends. And despite you calling the president Mtoto Aumbwa, you still, uh, you actually, know, he should forgive you? Actually, Jeff, uh, there's a reason why people are shaking hands. And as a result of shaking hands, bygones were let with bygones. It reached a point where this country was polarized. People are talking at each other instead of talking with each other. It was polarized where everybody was getting annoyed to a certain point that this country, if it proceeded with the same spirit, would have broken a country that is so good, a country that was built by our forefathers, a country that if we should leave it, we should leave it a better place. Therefore, Jeff, shaking hands means that bygones were bygones. Therefore, you should move on also, Jeff. It's high time the media should also move on. Let's not focus on what, has, what happened. Let you us know, move on to build our nation. That perception that people keep on creating, or the media, let me say, uh, you know, if Muhammad Ali does something, Muhammad Ali, the biggest critic of Joho, you know, you keep on bringing in these things. Mm. If Joho does that, Muhammad uh, Joho, the biggest whatever. I, I think it's time to move on. The elections are over. And sisi tunasema kwa kiswahili, riziki ya toka kwa mungu. So don't force it on people. So it's God who gives. If he gives you the governor seat, he gives Babu Omino member of parliament, he gave Mohamed Ali MP, he gave somebody else uh, MCA, senator, you, you respect that and yeah, move on. Sure. If there's any beef, let's do it in 2022. Yeah. In Swahili, they also say, mm. Nyani Hayoni Kundule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, eh? Excuse me, Jack Swahili, man. Jalasa uh, menifundisha. Mm. Uko sawa. Uko sawa. Uko sawa kabisa. Uko bie. Uko bie. Moha, first of all, you yeah. would you would you be um, would you be willing to be subjected to a lifestyle audit as proposed by the president the other day? I don't have a problem with that. 
Ni hata sina kitu so what are you going to audit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. The yeah. little that I have yeah. I will surrender and say this is how I got it. This is the house that I built and I built it when I was in KTN. <laughs> this is uh, the loans that I've been taking from this place. This is what I've bought. You know I, I don't have a problem with that mm. but uh, is it is it right that's a question that we should ask ourselves is it right to do this audit because i feel there's a lot of things that are going on and we are trying uh, we you know we are trying to make kenyans forget what what is happening at the moment for example nys nys1 nys2 mm. now there is sugar so if you go into sugar you forget two and one mm. after sugar something else will come you forget the sugar and we move on this is the culture what i'm telling you is that it is very simple to fight corruption in this country rule of law you know when i was flying to singapore uh, uh, some few minutes to the airport they give you the declaration form where you fill in your details and down there it is written you know if you're found with drugs in that country it's a death sentence straight straight it's written there death Sentence. Yes, uko kwa ndege you are feeling for Singapore unataka kuingia unaambiwa ladies and gentlemen 10 minutes to landing you are feeling and the first page you see death sentence. Kama una bangi kwa mfuko yes. feature. My Wait. friend you even suspect yourself <laughs> ukiland kwa airport unaangalia kama umewekewa kitu na mtu. That's how scary it is when we decide to follow the law. But even if we do uh, audit we do everything in this world we do prayers every now and then it won't work without that law that should be equal in the eyes of the lord for each and every person in this country so so you, do you do you think it will work it won't work jeff it will it will turn out to be a political uh, scene yeah. where if the, you come for this person this person will say hata wewe ulifanya hii so it's it will be a merry go round it won't work yeah. it's a good initiative by the president i think he's tired about this corruption thing I think it has reached to a point that he feel like something must be done but it can't be done without the respect of law in this country. Babu, you've amassed a whole bunch of wealth man. They say you're very wealthy. Uh Jeff um, uh, I'll be the first person to present myself when this thing comes. Everything. In fact, I don't even want the president to start it. I want Babu Winu himself to start the lifestyle audit because uh Jeff corruption is destroying this nation. The taxes that Kenyans pay taxes that is meant to improve uh, health health services taxes meant to pay or provide quality education taxes meant to enhance better living standards for Kenyan citizens are being uh, taken by certain individuals they are going into the deeper pockets of certain individuals and Jeff we know that corruption is not only a criminal offense but it's also a sin it is immoral this is what is destroying this nation we've seen nations succeeding in fighting corruption the other day the president of uh, brazil lula da silva, da silva yes was jailed for 10 years yeah. former president because of corruption yeah. another former president of south korea yeah. who is called park yes, park right. gwen hai i think yeah yeah, yeah. very good of south you, korea you know your president sir huh? okay the woman the she lady. was jailed for 24 years yeah. because of corruption she could not explain the money that got into her account during the campaign period therefore kenya can do it and i believe that uh, we can develop the niger there's a system the nigeria is using this it's called the seizure system whereby if somebody is suspected to be having any property now that is the political solution for handling corruption if you are suspecting to be having any property but your salary is not congruent to that property then it means that your property is seized by the government the problem is that personally i'm I'm very much willing to sponsor such a bill in the floor of the parliament and I'm asking all the members of parliament to support me pass this bill so that we can we can seize properties of certain individuals that we are suspecting and the government can know these people who are who are, who are corrupt including because yourself, they are if because you're there. including myself if I'm there because we have a serious intelligence system that can give the report on who is corrupt and who is not corrupt mm. those people should be sacked MP should support such a bill so that you are convicted actually your your property can be seized before criminal conviction okay, but another way let, let, let me tell you hold on, hold on hold on babu you didn't answer my question all those yes. cars you own and the properties you own well how do you get that jeff i have only two cars mine and my wife's and i can explain every detail and when the, the lifestyle audit will come 
I will do it. And so, I've accepted. So this white I even vehicle, know the this white vehicle I even know, you driving in. This was grant from parliament. I even know the tithe that I pay, the Ubers that I pay. I know through my sweat and my tears where the money came from. That's why I want to be the first person to be audited. You will volunteer yourself. I will. And if they and find if found guilty, let me be convicted without but you see, Jeff, uh, there are billionaires in this country. Yes. Uh, if you go to the, your bank account, they have nothing. Maybe they'll have, they'll put 10 million or 20 million in their account. There's what we call offshore account. So what do you want to investigate? Yeah. The money is not here. It's gone. It's, on, it's gone. It's in the offshore account. What do you want to investigate? D does uh, our Kenya police have that power? How many officers have left this country to do investigations outside the country? It's, it's a difficult task. Yeah. And uh, it's it's difficult to get money from these people because they are smart fellas. Yeah, they, they know how to wash. Yeah, money. they know how to wash their yeah, money. They are laundry you know, services. But, but you see, Jeff, if I may cut honourable member yeah. a little bit short, we can't say that we are giving up on this because uh, we know that Kenya, for Kenya to grow, all Kenyan citizens must unite. It's not an individual's fight. It is a fight that we can achieve if yeah. we want to achieve. But Moha raises One, a good point. People have which hidden is assets overseas. It's not here. Which is Switzerland, hidden. there's, there's a the gov laughing yeah. at us. The government has ways of getting this. They can Come track on. all these Did amounts. they get Goldenberg? Did they get... <laughs> no, uh, did they get NYS? Because Switzerland? they were not serious. They because NYS they were not too? serious. But the money is still there. Kwani Mendapi. They were not you serious to get this the money. Let's, let's, let's uh, put it this way. Let's stop politics. Let's work and serve the good people of the Republic of okay. Kenya. Whether you want to audit, whether you want to do something, <laughs> the president is a commander in chief of the armed forces if you want to make sure that this is his last term you want to make sure that he will end with a good legacy making sure that kenyans will be happy about his final term it's just to stamp the authority how do you stamp the authority you know when you investigate somebody you don't tell him takufuata <laughs> look for your own means yeah Pole Pole too, we have intelligence, we have CID, we have police. And I'm sure he has the reports yeah, right now. We have the, so reports. the reports. Yeah, yeah we have everything. Yeah. We, but if you tell us, can you tell me, do you, remember, you do you remember which year you bought that suit? Do you remember, yeah. uh, do you have the receipt? Uh -huh. you, you, there are some things that you can't answer. And again, some people are businessmen. Maybe myself and Babu, we are first time members of parliament. And I'm saying this because it might affect somebody else in future. It might be used for political reason to bring down somebody. If today me and Babu were elected on uh, 8th of August last year, we are fresh new members of parliament. Babu gets his salary, I get my salary. Babu does business with his salary. He invests somewhere else. Yeah. I don't invest. I run around using my money and playing around. Then after some few years when I see Babu growing, I start saying, <laughs> Babu is a thug, <laughs> he's a devil worshiper. <laughs> 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 But he performs better. Na anakula vizuri na anaraha na watoto wake. More than somebody with a billion. So audit, it's a good idea. I agree with the president. It is a good idea. But you're saying it won't but work. It won't work. It will just bring chaos in this country. Because honestly, I fear God. 99% of the entire people in the system have issues. Yeah. Well, Kikujia, who you, this one will tell you, okay, you are stepping on my toe. Mm -hmm. I also remember what you did in uh, 1998. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember what you did in this year. I remember. So it will be, at the end of the day, we will be divided in that tribal line. Uh, it is not you, it is us. It is my tribe yeah. that is being targeted. Yeah, yeah. So let's follow the law. You have a lap, unashikwa, pigwa, fine, work and done. You still, you are taken to court. You do something, you know, imambo at ya step aside, you still. You don't step aside when you steal. That you step in, in prison. But Babu, listen, uh, NYS2. Look yes. at these suspects. There was what, 43, 46 suspects? Mm -hmm. Now they've been given bail, most of them. I'm about to bail. But, but that's, Jeff, a, that's, that's a uh, constitutional right. Eh? Jeff, uh, oh, constitutionally, on, constitutionally, no, in jail. by the end of the day, constitutionally, uh, the Kenyan uh, law system states clearly that you are innocent till proven guilty. They deserve to be given cash bail. But they are serious measures by which we can put as a as a nation to ensure that this corruption is slayed and i believe that uh jeff one of the ways is through empowering the dpp the problem is that these people who are corrupt these people who are taking our money the, the thieves they hire well experienced lawyers mm -hmm. over 30 years plus but the dpp is coming with lawyers who are fresh graduates from the university now if 
we compare these two, it is automatic that the person who is corrupt will be off the hook because the person that they are using to defend them is legally experienced. Why can't the therefore, DPP use therefore, lawyers? Therefore, more funds, that's why more funds should be channeled towards the DPP, DPP's office, so that they can hire experienced lawyers to match these other lawyers. Two, the judiciary should also receive enough funding so that they can help effectively to avoid even these issues of small bribery with the judges and the magistrates so that they can effectively fight this corruption. The procurement laws and regulations should be strictly adhered to. This idea of uh, somebody saying the pricing of a wheelbarrow, you are told that you are, you are buying a wheelbarrow at 3 million while a, a wheelbarrow is causing, uh, for example, 200 Kenya shillings. Yeah. It does not make sense. So I believe that uh, uh, corruption has been politicized in this nation. But when we leave politics from it, then we deal with these people whether the nation is being destroyed, whether we are remaining with only two people. But we deal with those people who are corrupt, mm. then I believe we will we'll achieve results. Moha, the, the, that extreme measure of yours of Singapore, mm. you know, if you're caught with drugs, you're going to it's die. straight. Do we need something as stringent as that? Do you think, do we need a law like that here? Yeah, we need a, we need a tougher law. You know, a law that is being respected by everybody. And uh, when Babu says that these people have a lot of money to hire lawyers, I, I agree with him. But at the same time, there is a way of reaching these people. First of all, if you are a cabinet secretary, you are the custodian of that ministry. <coughs> How the money went to Ngirita's account without, any supply, uh, without her supplying anything, you know, these are the small fish, yeah. but there's a big fish who is controlling everything. And we're not hearing and, about and, this and, fish. And their hands are very clean because they don't press the button. They make other people press the button. Mm -hmm. It's just like when you want to deal with an addict. We cannot just say barrels from the top. You can start from the bottom. You take an addict. You know he can't survive if you close him in one room for five hours. Yeah. Akosa Yokitu, mm -hmm. he can't survive. Correct. He will talk. He will tell you, I bought it from this person. You go to that person. He will tell you, I'm being supplied by this person. You go to the next person until you reach the wholesale level and to the drug barrel. Sounds like an episode of Chicho Pepe. Then you'll bring all these people <laughs> down. Now, suppose today I'm the, uh, I'm the cabinet secretary of a certain ministry. I'm in charge. And there's looting in my ministry. Then I'll be the man who should be answerable to the people of this great nation. Because I was given that mandate to protect and to serve the people. But we don't have those kinds of people, Moha, who will turn around and say, I'm stepping down, I'm resigning because the buck stops. But with we've me. been we've been stepping down, we've been resigning since nineteen sixty three. And this is you loot and you resign. Mm. Uh, we can't be doing this resign because I know now if I become a CS or a, I I'll just loot and then I resign. I have my billions of money, yeah. I resign and live a cool life yeah. without without pressure. Yeah. No, you resign but we pick you. Because you need to tell us where this money has gone to. You are the person who has been appointed. You are the person who holds the Bible and the Quran and you sought to protect the constitution of this country. You sought to protect the people. And now you are telling us that I'm steady stepping aside. So Kenya is a country of stepping aside. You steal, you step aside. You kill, you step aside. You do all crazy stuff and you step aside. And this is what we don't want. So it's all about the law. I wish the president would you know, stamp his authority and say the law must be followed. You don't queue, unapata watu kwa laini, you, kimbele mbele, you just come in front and say, nauliza. No, shika weka ndani, because we want discipline. The moment we have this discipline, from traffic, office, banking, everywhere, it will be done. So we have to we, rewire our yeah, whole We have the mentality. National Intelligence Service, yeah. who does this all, all job for us. They are the eye, they are watching on our behalf. There is KRA. You see somebody buying something, and... Uh, you know, the government can watch how you operate your account. They have that power. They can see this man is being paid this, but he's transacting, transacting a business of this. For example, if today I want to send 2 million or 1.5 million to uh, Mweshimiwa Babu here, the bank will ask me, this money is for what? Yep. So I have to explain. declare, explain in that form, mm -hmm. that this money is for ABCD mm -hmm. that is being transferred to Babu. If you don't have an explanation, you cannot transfer even one million. In fact, you cannot receive more than a million in a day. Mm -hmm. But there is a bank that is transacting billions of money in a day. There is a law, CBK, 
such banks should be closed. Yeah. There's nothing to talk about. You bring down all these banks. Maramoja. Let's have like five, two or ten banks that have discipline, that can serve people. Because when you look at all these scandals, banks are implicated. The money goes through these banks. It is wired through these banks. Where did this person declare that this money is for? You are putting a billion in somebody's account and you don't have an explanation. So and, it's a law. And no one's asking. And no one is asking. And this is the problem. Whether you do the audit, whether you call for prayer, whether you do all the things that you want <laughs> to do in this country, yeah. it won't work unless we follow the laws of this country. Make it hard for people. May, you know, when you go to Europe, you can see the traffic light is red. People are just standing. Yeah. No, one, no one crosses the they red light. They are scared. Light. Yes. And if they see you from Africa and they think you're a madman because you don't respect the law, or now, in fact, you, bro, you bring those things to, to that country. At Yasasa, Kuna, what, why should I wait? And you want to, you, you want to, you want <laughs> no, to cross. <laughs> but it's, it's a country that is governed by the law. Yeah. It's like Singapore. I was really shocked. Yeah. Each and every citizen, you know, when the government makes profit, it gave each and every single citizen six hundred and fifty dollar. That is six. Uh, uh, that is sixty five thousand. Faida. The government tells you this is for each and every Singaporean. Faida serikali mepata. Take this. It takes you to school. It protects you. It takes you to you know. And again, the other problem that we have. And I'm sorry. I'm still a journalist, and I'm not bashing anybody. The media also should focus on issues that concerns Kenyans. For example, I brought a motion in Parliament about having a referral hospital in all the counties. But you see the way it was given publicity and it is something that it's killing us. Mm. Our mothers are dying, our sisters, our brothers are dying back there in the villages. As we speak, 13 members of parliament are suffering from cancer. They have that money and power to go to Europe, to go to India mm -hmm. and treat themselves. But for the poor Kenyan, he doesn't have that power. No. We bring this motion, you, you are just looking for who is abusing who. You can't push <laughs> this motion. You cannot ask, why is it not implemented? Kenya, since 1963, my friend Jeff, we have two referral hospitals. National Hospital, Kenyatta, mm. and the one in Eldoret, Moi Teaching Referral. Mm. Something happens in Garissa. Something happens in Turkana. Something happens in Mombasa. You must be airlifted to be brought to Kenyatta National Hospital to be treated because you are the son and daughters of lesser God. Are we going to live like this? Mm. How many billions are being stolen every day? 10 billion can build for us two referral hospitals. Yeah. In fact, if you say each and every year we build two, two, two in each and every county, Jeff, this country will change. But we don't want. No. You just want to see who Drama. Mohamed Ali is talking to, who <laughs> Babu Owino is talking to. And again, the country is like on a remote control. If we say today we are talking about mercury and sugar, everybody forgets the other one, we go for mercury. <laughs> My friend, mercury is not a joke. It's expensive. How can you put mercury and sugar? It's total uh, yeah. madness. They are lying to you. This is business. And yet they're convincing <laughs> the public. Do you know mercury? Do people understand what is no, mercury? Don't. Copper. It's expensive. And you yeah. say that you put mercury. This is a metal you want to put in a sugar. Mm. How? Who will invest? Who will take mercury to, uh, to sugar industry? This is just a business rivalry. Somebody wants to control the market. And you see every pe people, hey, mm. my friend, I've been taking, I've been putting more than six. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think mercury is a joke, Jeff? No, no, no. And it's expensive, by the way. It's expensive. Yes. And people are talking about mercury right in, now. In sugar. You ask somebody, what is mercury? But it's business. It's somebody who wants to control the market. Yes. And he wants to finish the others. And you can see the culture in Kenya. When you talk about pombe, you know, drinks, when they start raiding, you hear in Nyeri they have arrested somebody who had this in somewhere in Meru, somewhere in Mombasa, somewhere in Kisi. You will see the media covering every now and then. When is the pombe zinatoka wapi? Same as sugar. Somebody just mentioned the other day. Now we are told ziko kwa godowni, ziko kwa godowni, ziko kwa godowni. What is this? Have you tested it? Do people understand what is mercury? This is a joke. Now everybody is talking about mercury every day in the morning. Wamesau NYS season two. Mm -hmm. Now we are in mercury. Yes. After after two weeks, tutakuwa kwa ingine. After three weeks, and then you say, "E Kenya, there is something wrong with this country." And Mushmiwa. Then you blame leaders like us. For example, I was being blamed. 
Mohamed Ali told us he will be a jichopevu in parliament. Yes. <laughs> he has been bought. Right. Uh, he now is keeping quiet. Uh, but you know I've been doing investigation, mm -hmm. Jeff. Mm -hmm. It takes me like six to one year sometimes to investigate. Right. I came out the other day because I had some evidence. I'm not like uh, any other uh, person who stands up and shouts the corruption must end. But if you ask him what has happened here, he will tell you. Sasa si we We can't help each other. People are abusing. We don't have a common goal in this country. We don't have. It is and not about the ideology in this country. Yeah. It is all about the political parties, tribalism, and how to survive and eat with our party or with our tribe. And Jeff, Babu. I think uh, uh, <coughs> the people that were also appointed to lead this nation are also mis 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 uh, misleading Kenyan citizens. Because uh, one cabinet secretary is saying that uh, this sugar is mercury. Another cabinet secretary today confirms that uh, Kebs has confirmed that uh, the sugar has no mercury, yeah. which means that these people are also political. And, and in the same house, the same yeah. team. Yeah. They're in the same team. So it, and their positions are, are meant same not government. to be political. Yeah. So I think everything in Kenya is being politicized. And you see the consumption rate of Kenyans, it's so high in consuming the propaganda. Mm. So I think once we put politics aside and we say that we want to serve Kenyan citizens, people have real issues. To, yesterday, today, you saw Boda Boda guys. Over 5,000 Boda Boda people in Nairobi yeah. went to demonstrate. Why did they demonstrate? Because they were being denied an opportunity to enter the CBD. Personally, if I were a governor, I would have, if I were governor of Nairobi, I would have created a terminal for these people so that they can drop and pick people in a specific area. But I believe that the current governor that we have also will do it in his best interest. He will do it and I believe that he will provide a solution for these people. These are the real issues. We had uh, even kerosene being taxed. Jeff, you see in the village this idea of ru rural electrification yeah. is not everywhere. It has not been achieved everywhere. So the common monainchi in the village uses kerosene in the lamps to provide light for them. But this kerosene is being taxed. My brother, what are we trying to achieve as a nation? You saw the other day this idea of money transfers, mm -hmm. mobile money transfers mm -hmm. being taxed. Some of the people in this nation, they don't own bank accounts. That's what they depend on. Yeah. So when you tax that, the little that they have, actually they are using the Bible principle that the little that you have shall be taken away from you. <laughs> the little that Kenyans have is being taken away from them. Why should we subject Kenyans to such things? Punitive tax. We saw what happened. 0 0.05 goes to the government on transactions above 500,000. Mm -hmm. Now, this government passed a budget the other day of 3.07 trillion. Tanzania here, last year, they had a budget of 1.47 trillion. Tanzania is bigger than Kenya. Uganda had 860 billion. Uh, Rwanda, our neighbor, had 247 billion. Now, the 3.07 billion, KRA is saying that they cannot finance it. They can only provide 1.5 trillion. And out of that, 860 billion is going on, is going to pay debts. Mm -hmm. They contacted I IMF, who agreed that they can assist. But on one condition, that 60,000 public servants lose their job. Mm -hmm. Where are we headed? People want jobs. Youths want jobs. But by the end of the day, what is being provided? A slap on the face. So this nation, if you are not careful, we are going to sink. Yeah, we're going to be in deep trouble. We are going deep, to sink. Deep, deep, deep trouble. Mohal, coming back to you, and you know, <coughs> you're right when you say the media is to blame for a bit of, I mean, yes, it's, it's all about wagging the tail or wagging the dog's tail. That's what we do. You know, we react. We're not proactive to a lot of the things. And then we have to fill airtime. We have to tell this story. If so and so had said this, we have to record it 15 times and keep playing it and playing it and playing it. Where did we go wrong? I think uh, the problem that we have in the media industry is, um, you know, before it was a calling, those who were being employed were all good people who passed through the test. They went to school, they went to universities, colleges, and they went to to learn about being a journalist. They were taught somebody has a degree in journalism, mass communication, these are the people. But nowadays, we, we are simply employing slay kings and slay queens. So it becomes, <laughs> it becomes a problem. Uh, you know, somebody yes. calling you and asking you some things that you, you even wonder, 
how will I answer this person? Yes. I've been a journalist for more than a decade, but I don't know what to tell this person. You know, somebody writing something and saying that uh, he, he tried looking for you and he hasn't looked for you. I, I, I am a journalist. I've been looking for people. I've been giving, giving them time. I can look for somebody for six months until I get it right. Because I will be very wrong to say Jeff had done something and I haven't even sat down with him. I haven't even, ha you know, I don't even have a paperwork, uh, an evidence to show that you've done. But the problem nowadays is all about to fight for airtime. It's all about a pretty face on TV. It's all about, you know, some crazy stuff that come on air every day. But we don't talk about issues. And I think this is a problem. The other thing, media now, is the, is the third political party in this country. Mm. <laughs> It's another political party. That's how I see it. And I'm sorry, I'm a journalist. I'm still one of you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we are losing it. We are losing it big time. Because we, we tend to take sides yeah. politically. We have even these groups that you see the way we are talking to each other. You can tell very well that this person. It's like when I want to buy a newspaper in the morning. I'll just look at the writer. I'm experienced. I've been in the media for long. Mm -hmm. I'll know a fake story. I, lo I know the right story, and uh, you know, because you'll see the way it is written. Alafu, you'll just call, Moshimiwa ni menyorosha jama wako. Unaninyorosha kwa nini wana? In fact, Jeff, eh? there's a yellow journalist. Hmm? The, I, uh, it I'm, is very I'm, sad. I'm not apologizing and to call him a yellow it's journalist. It's still going on. They need the journalism that was there was the journalism during the days of Lina Skaikai, Farida Korone. Yeah. These are the people, Duncan Kizito, Namulanda, Kize, eh, nani, Nzile. These are the people who molded us and made us who we are today. The Jichopevu was not there if it was not for those great people. I used to come to the office and I, when I want to rush something and they tell me, no, go back and get A, B, C, D. Like when we did Pariwanjala Miyadarati, mm. it reached to a point that Belgium and the Netherlands is being mentioned in these investigations. So what we are told, hold your horses. <laughs> you are going to Belgium and Netherlands to uncover this thing. Th that is how it should work. But nowadays, it's, it's all about, you know, I, I think it's a beauty modeling, content, modeling. modeling. Uh -huh. yeah? <laughs> Somebody will move to me, I'm a beba, a kika even, you know, the show is slaying. good. Uh, you see a handsome young <laughs> man kings and queens. asking some clueless questions that yes. you don't know. Yeah? Yeah. This is the other day somebody called me and asked me, Mwishimiwa tunasikia, and I see that's the way he's putting it, tunasikia uko kwako pesa ya ya basari imepotea. So I ask him, you know I'm a journalist like you, do you know the role of a member of parliament in CDF? Uh, he said no he said, go and do your homework and then come back to me <laughs> so the guys went and say ah, Muhammad and Ahmad Arau, yeah. but I'm grooming you I Correct. want you to understand yeah. sometimes when I meet them I talk to them like you have one great uh, reporter here uh, what is this Kato or what is his name uh, Leto, Leto. Yeah. Stephen Leto in he's fact good. I met he's him good. today in parliament yeah. and I told him young man you are going places he's a good man he listens is take his time. Yeah. And that is what you want. CCJF, the Jichopevu will have never been there if we didn't listen to the el these elders. Correct. And you can see where they are. All those people who taught us good things. Yes. They are also somewhere now. But kidding, my slay kings, my slay queens, they don't listen to uh, anybody. Mm -hmm. It's Yellow a problem. They call you Babu. We have your story. Yes. Yeah. If you don't respond, yes. this is what you are going well, to publish. Don't pay ahead. You know what I tell them? Yeah. Do it. Report even to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's pray <laughs> that it's going to change. <laughs> the management, the editors, <laughs> the, ch the managing editors yes. in all those media houses, let's hope they are going to work. Because they are the biggest problem, Jeff, let's be honest. Yeah. It's not only the reporters. The MEs are the worst. Mm. These are the people who set the agenda in the newsroom. And they take, uh, you know, they take political sides. Yeah? And if they hate somebody, they'll ruin your life for five years. On the newspaper, on television, and everything. And this thing has been there for many years. Mm. And you see the reporter, a small reporter down there, does not have power over the managing editor. So the managing editor also should make sure that we go back to those good old days. Mm. Eh? But, uh, okay, not to <clears throat> be too hard on the media. Look in America right now. Look at America. Most of the media outlets are going for Trump all the way. They want him impeached. They want him out of office. Fox News is the only one. And I'm not a supporter of Trump, by the way. Mm -hmm. yeah? But you can see the agenda of the news organizations there. Everyone is Trump this, Trump that, mm -hmm. porn star this, porn star that, uh, special prosecutor, Mueller this, that. They're all going after him. Is that fair? Don't it's, they have an agenda it's, it's of their own? It's not fair because there are other things to talk about. There are other things to talk about America. Black life matters. People are being killed every day. You know? Creations of Issues jobs of in America. Firearms. You know, people think America is heaven. If you go there, you'll say, 
no it's good to be a black chokora <laughs> it's inakani sisi <laughs> ukiwa mzungu nani chokora <laughs> it looks bad my friend yes it really looks bad yeah. so, na wako huko na wako huko na ni wengi na ni wengi yes they need to highlight on this issue and i'm not blaming ndugu zangu watu wangu wa media tafadhali i love you i'm still one of you but i want you to change i think I, generally the uh, media yes. the media industry they need to be objective irrespective mm. of what's happening mm. because the news that they give kenyan citizens is stale yeah it's how long did it take you to you do that the, the, the delta personally jeff have, have the done delta story. that story alone yes. took me like 14 months 14 months one story but it was a you know a classic story paka wakasema ati i stage managed wachana na watu wanasema kila siku bana fala wachana na wana let's take a break gentlemen come back and and talk about uh, is there hope for the future guys you guys are the future after all your uh, your constituents elected you because you are the future is there hope is there hope moha babu is there, there hope is. There, there, is. Is. there is keep tweeting and we'll read your tweets as well at koinanga jeff at citizen tv kenya the hashtag is JK live Monica what's the score still 1-0 Espana 1 Iran nil. how many minutes 90th minute oh it's over Quisha mm. all right let's move on Jeff can I live takes a break we'll be back in a moment with or without slay kings and slay queens <laughs> 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 